Do you want to know how to add a new writer to your WordPress site or even how to get new members signed up? If the answer is yes, then stick around because I'm gonna show you three ways to add new users to your site. It's not hard and it doesn't take a lot of time, so let's jump right in. The easiest way to add a small number of people to your site is through WordPress's user management system. To get started, we need to find the users menu item on the left of the screen, then hover over that. You'll then see the add new option appear. Click on that. This is the new user section, and we can add all the new users details into these fields. Just a quick note about this, you only actually need to complete the username and email fields along with generating a secure password to add a new user. All the other fields are optional, but it's good practice to add in as much detail as you can. Users can also complete these fields later on as well. If you click the generate password button, WordPress will generate a secure password for you. And be sure to check the box here if you want the user to receive a notification about their account being created. Finally, you can set a user role for each user. This will give them different kinds of capabilities based on the role. Looking at the default roles, subscriber is the least powerful role and could be for members of a website who have no access to site settings. Administrator, on the other hand, is the most powerful role and has full access to everything. If you want to find out more about user roles, see the link to the blog article in the description of this video. If you know what role you want to give the user, then choose that and then click add new user. After that new user has been created, you'll see them appear in the users section. This is where you can edit their details, change their password and even their user role. If you check the boxes next to several users and click the bulk actions drop down here, you now have the option to apply one action to many users in one go. And this is handy if you want to upgrade or downgrade user roles for a group of people. Now let's take a look at our second method for adding users to your WordPress site by opening your site up for anyone to register. So instead of you adding people in manually, they can do it themselves. From the WordPress admin dashboard, head to the settings tab here on the left of the screen. Hover over that and then click on general. The setting we are looking for here is under the membership heading. All we need to do is check the box next to anyone can register. By default, the new user role is set to a subscriber and we recommend only letting new users register as either subscribers or contributors. That way, new users won't be able to publish new posts without approval. Never set this to administrator, as that could potentially allow someone to take over your site and lock you out. After you've done that, click Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. Now all you need to do is add a registration form to a page on your website, and we have a great video on how you can do that easily with WP Forms. Another really cool way to add new users to your site is to create a paid membership program that users sign up for. This is great if you're setting up a site where you'll sell member-only content. This is seen a lot on online course websites, where you need to pay to become a member and sign in to access the course materials. To do this, you'll need to install a WordPress membership plugin on your site. MemberPress is by far the best membership and course creation plugin because it is jam-packed with all the features you'll need to run an awesome membership website. It takes care of the registration form, has much finer controls over user roles and access, and also allows you to lock specific posts and pages so only signed in members can see them. You can even create different levels of membership with different pricing. And of course, MemberPress integrates with payment gateways so you don't have to worry about a thing. We have an amazing guide that takes you step by step through getting set up with MemberPress and you'll find the link to that article in the description too. I really hope this video has given you some great ways to add users and members to your website. If you want to find out a bit more about WordPress membership plugins, then you really should check out this awesome video where Syed and Christina go through five of the best membership plugins and what makes them so great. Thanks for watching.